All right, please share your thoughts about how government financing of research deliberately tilts the landscape toward government. Well, I don't, I don't think it has to. I mean, I think the government has a role to play in financing research, particularly, you know, comparative effectiveness research, which is what we're talking about uh, in the context here today. I think that the question is how does the government speak about the results of the research and whether or not uh, the government overstates, government actors overstate the findings from research and whether or not they allow for a level playing field for others to be able to respond to the, to the results of studies. And right now we have an environment where, you know, sometimes in many cases, the commercial actors, the people whose products are being studied, are prevented from responding to results of government financed uh, studies. At the same time, that I think the government has an incentive to try to draw conclusions from those studies that could potentially overstate the results of those findings. And we've certainly seen examples in the past where government-funded studies, um, you know, drew some, in some cases, misleading conclusions, in some cases, the wrong conclusions. Because I do think that there was an incentive on the part of people who engaged in those studies who receive the tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars to do certain studies, there was an incentive and a desire and a need to try to demonstrate that there was some utility, um, some outcome from the study that had, had practical implications, practical utility. So it, it's a long way of saying, I think, that people have uh, oftentimes an incentive to overinterpret the results of clinical studies, whether it's a, a drug company looking at the results of clinical research that they've engaged in, or an academic or government researcher looking at the results of a study that was government financed. And so there needs to be, there should be some kind of process um, to vet the results and vet how it's communicated. In the commercial context, we have the FDA, we have a lot of restrictions. In some cases, we have restrictions that prevent speech altogether. But in the other context, in the context of, of government agencies, there really isn't a process right now or set it even of uniform standards in terms of how they're going to speak about the results of a lot of the CER research that's going to be done in the near future.